Hi, this is Mike, and we're looking at the US oil chart. This is WTI crude. On the daily, we start off by basically wanting to confirm what I believe is the correct view for this market. Okay, now in my previous oil idea, which I'll link below, I explained a few things away with regards to the larger picture. Now, I do believe now that wave two ended at the lows. Okay, all the way down here, I believe wave two ended, right? And I believe wave three started at that point, which explains why it bounced back so quickly. So this here cannot be an A anymore. I believe what we're looking at here is the start of wave three. Okay. So what's interesting about the start of wave three, and I think that it can only be said about wave three is that not only did wave one of wave three happen in a fraction of the time that wave one occurred, wave one has been ongoing since God knows 18, late 1800s, early, you know, mid 1800s, but yet when wave two ended so quickly during the pandemic, wave one started and it, it literally took like a few months for this to actually create a wave one. It's just phenomenally unreal. Now, what's going to happen from here? I have my ideas and what I see is an A, B, complete C, and I think we have our D wave marked in place here. Okay, so in my last video, I did say that this was a bottom for C wave, but then this move happened, right? This move here, I can only classify this as a D wave, right? This whole thing here is a D wave. Now, this has been very common across a lot of different charts I've looked at recently. I believe that we are about to see the last move down before the next bull market begins, right? And I do believe that if you want to short oil, you just put your stop at the high here at about $82 and wait for wave E to happen, okay? Now I'm doing this to Bitcoin. I believe these markets are all lining up to begin this move, okay? So I do, I, I think the Dow Jones is doing the same thing. I had a look at the chart earlier. I'm gonna make an update on that shortly because there's just too many things lining up at this point that I think that it's about to begin now. And, and I mean the big one. So just very interesting on, on that front, but also where would this fall down towards would be most likely this area, the end of wave one. Okay, I believe that price will fall back down to $43. Okay, if it doesn't fall that far, fair enough. But it's a lot better than what I initially anticipated could happen when we come to close this gap down here at $20. So whether or not it actually falls to $20 is yet to be seen. But the minimum expectation, I would say, is $43 roughly in this drop. Okay, now, interestingly enough, the, the, the D wave is just a little bit smaller than the A wave. You see that? It's just interesting how they're pointing in different directions. But, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just fascinating to see these type of things happen. And if that's what they are, they need to be identified pretty quickly because when these moves sort of happen, you don't really get much of a chance. Okay, so at this stage, that's my view on oil. So we just need to wait and see what happens if, if we break this low down here. Uh, I'll go to the 15 minute chart for a moment to observe the pattern. Okay, so immediately I can see that there was a bit of a, could be what, what could be like a wave E going on here at the moment, 
depending on how you'd view this. For me, it almost sticks out at me straight away as wave one, right? It's just unbelievable how the waves just stick out sometimes. It's just, it's amazing to see it. Now, depending on what this is, it could be wave A. In my opinion, that's the first move that you get, you know, in a bounce after wave one, as long as it doesn't exceed the high. You know, you're doing pretty good. And then you've got a B here, right? Now, obviously, wave B is a zigzag. It goes in the opposite direction of the A wave. Now, obviously, this is expanding to the downside, right? Wave five, sorry, five wave move for wave C, pretty straightforward. And then you've got, once again, you've got a wave D, right? Now, if this wasn't possible, these waves would not be here so clearly marked out for you to see right? They just wouldn't be there. Okay. Now, at this point in time, you can see a five wave move for wave E, except there's something funny there is it is requiring one more little leg up, right? a little leg up, potentially one, two, three, four, and then five, which is requires, like I just said, a little leg up. Are there any rules broken here so far for this? Uh, is wave three the shortest? Uh, not really. It depends also. Oh, uh, yeah, not, not really. Depends also, like, where the wave four ends. Is this wave four expanded up the highs? So there could be, like, a little bit more left. Like, wave three is not shorter than wave one if wave three ended here. So could this still be like A, B, C, D, E, and then just a little move higher, not exceeding the red line, obviously. So potentially we could see like a little bit of a, you know, spike at the open before uh, a reversal to the downside. Okay, and that would be wave two if it doesn't exceed the highs. And that would be a good opportunity to go short oil right down to where, wherever it is that we happen to be going. All right now you could even look at this as a mini head and head and shoulders pattern as well if you like to use those type of uh, uh methods of analysis right something like that all right head and shoulders to break that you know and obviously they talk about using the head as a you know double down uh, target, sorry, from from uh, the neckline, and what would that take us? That'd take us just, you know, to around the 30, mid 30s, roughly. So still within the range that I said. So between $43 and $20, it's like a sweet spot in the middle, maybe. But you never know; it could go a bit lower, All right? But that's that's what I'm seeing for oil now. So I thought I'd bring this one first because that's sometimes I just go around to different charts. And I circle back a few times before I start to actually see the things that are, they're all start aligning and pointing in the same direction. In this case, it looks like we have E waves across the board to uh, complete uh, before we see the, the real move higher. Now, this may not be the case for certain markets, but I think we should keep an open mind because, you know, Sometimes we're just not identifying the pattern properly. So I've got a little bit of work to do on that. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.